How funny would it be if you just went down the elevator right now and just walked in? Someone off. <laughs> Welcome to Scorching Adelaide for the Tour Down Under. We've had a busy weekend launching the new Rafa kit, but before that, we caught up with Lachlan Morton, who went for one last hit out in the blackout kit at a local crit. We're here at the Norwood uh, Club Criterion, which I only found out was on a couple of days ago, and I'd missed racing, so <laughs> figured I'd jump in. I wanted another chance like, to put this on because uh, we need to get rid of the, we had some bad juju on Sunday, so just need to clear the air. Switch the vibe up. Okay, man. <laughs> See you there, have a good one. Hey, Lachlan Morton here. Uh, we're about to reveal the new kit to Mitch. Gotcha. Finally, I'm going to get to see my Rafa kit. Here we go. <laughs> right, you excited? Maybe a shit load of new things. <laughs> oh my god. Pink? I thought they might have been pink. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a nice touch, huh? The nice top. touch. Oh. <laughs> the gloves. Yeah. I want to see the hats. Are you are you a down bucket man or are you just like a full up? Oh, skin dog. <laughs> the skin dog. Oh wow, nice little touch on the collar. Look at that. I like a little touch too, like you still got the raffer touch on there. He's a rude, aren't they? <laughs> How good's the undershirt? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got a little extra length. A bit of extra ass put in. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. That's extra four back panel. Four centimeters on the back. Four centimeters on the booty. Insulated Well, these are soft, aren't they? Oh! Look at that. It's the duck. It's the duck. Like the stuff that people <laughs> want to see. The duck killer. It's the best bit. Let's play, boys. <laughs> <laughs> are these hand threaded? Who is doing that? The Sunday before the race begins is the Tour Down Under Classic, a lap criterium in the city centre that gives the team a chance to show off their new kits. It's also the first time that we'll be seeing Jimmy Whelan since he crashed at the Aussie Nats last weekend in episode one. Let's find out how he's recovered. So I came down pretty hard in the last lap on Nationals. Unfortunately, there was, we're all in the gutter on the last lap after the climb and uh, someone lost his wheel um, where the road falls off and I was right up his wheel as well. So. We both hit the deck, he was okay, um, and so was I, just except for this little scar here. Yeah, I had to finish off the work that Lockie and Mitch did. Um, it was pretty daunting to have them working on the front, and it was a compliment. I just felt a responsibility to finish that off, regardless of whether it was the first, fifth, or in my case, uh, yeah, a bit further down. Down, down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lockie's been out the front on a heroic solo effort, but it looks like he's all going to come back together for a big sprint royale. And the team going to work for Dan McClay. Let's see what happens. Going round tight on the inside. Oh, and there's a fall there. And a complete ricochet of Grant Viviani's down. His day is done. All of these riders now have got no chance. Has catapulted to the right of our picture now. Can he hold it on here from Peter Sagan? As they go line to line, and Caleb Ewan has got it right on the line from Peter Sagan. We're all lined up pretty good. Me, Scud, Mitch. Just coming into the, the corner after the finish line. One guy just... I think he just pedalled a bit too hard in the corner and just slipped out and wiped Mitch out. And me and Scully just came to a bit of a stop behind and I think two laps to go in a circuit race like this, it's, uh, it's all over if you uh, 
come to a stop. But it's always the same at the beginning of the season. Everyone, especially like like a race like this, but everyone everyone gives it. Oh, it's just the criteria. And it doesn't matter this or the other. And you start the race and the gloves are off. And it's uh, it's going to hurt. It's not going to hurt me. I'm in the car. I'm fine. It's going to hurt you guys. So you have to buy into it. Yeah, and you have to want to do it. Woodsy, we've got you here, we're going for GC. It's not going to be an easy ride. You know that, all of your teammates know that. There are going to be times through these five days where it's going to be hard work and there's going to be a big job in front of you. Be prepared to take it on. Woodsy, for you, this needs to be really boring. It can be just a boring day. Yeah, all things going well, you know, finish the day being like, oh, this is just dull as shit. Jimmy, I want you to stay near Mike, okay? Jimmy, that often means being sort of in a position where you're behind him. Yeah, right. You don't have to be right on his wheel, but just in a position if something does happen that you've seen it. Because if you're in front of him and something happens, he doesn't have a chance to yell out to you, then you've got no idea. We've come to the race with a good team, like a really good team. I'm trying to keep it a little bit cool. Because like Mike said the other day, we've come in with really big expectations before falling on our asses a bit, but Mike's turned up in good condition, he's a contender for this race, genuinely. I think, I think we've got a team that really wants to commit for Mike. Feeling good, actually feeling really excited. For me, the first two days are pretty laid back. In the race, me and Tom was telling me uh, it should be like a day where I'm super bored today. And now all of a sudden it's 41 degrees, so I try and get as much ice on the back and water in the head as, as possible, and then I can tolerate it. But if I don't get that, I, I, I suck. Canadian. I'm melting. Six, five, four, three.